and we're back and this time I'm going to show you how to recreate the Reyes filter in Adobe Photoshop. It's quite simple, we only need one adjustment layer, which is the curve adjustment layer. And I've got it already prepared so that I can make sure I've got the right curves. Let me create a new one. The RGB gets adjusted as follows. At first we drag the left hand side upwards. I will create a little bit of a steeper curve. So go to around 25% and then maybe like 70 or 65% drag it upwards slightly. The red channel it has only a slight adjustment as you can see. It's the typical S curve but it's very flat. So we go to 25% and drag it a little bit downwards and around 75% a little bit up. Next channel is the green channel. And again it's an S curve but it's even more flat. Now we need to adjust the right hand side and drag it downwards. So the highlights need to go down in this channel and then go to 75% drag it a little bit up. The last channel is the blue one and we need the shadows to the left hand side to be dragged to the right and we'll add a point to 25% and drag it slightly upwards. And that will be it. Obviously you need to adjust it slightly depending on the image that you use, but this is the basic filter. So you've got this adjustment in the RGB, typical S curve in the red channel but very flat. The green channel you need to go down with the highlights. It's the most important step here and the blue channel you need to drag the left hand side to the right. Now if we compare to the original, you can see it has a massive impact and this can recreate the Reyes filter in Adobe Photoshop. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.